Leo Varadkar has been forced to defend himself after pictured surfaced of him enjoying a picnic in a Dublin park on Sunday, despite a senior civil servant days earlier advising people not to do so. Ireland's Taisha was subjected to a barrage of criticism after he, his partner Matthew Barrett and friends were photographed at the Wellington Monument in Phoenix Park. In a statement issued last night, Mr. Varadkar's spokesman said, last Sunday afternoon, he and his partner met two friends in the Phoenix Park. As is allowed in Phase 1, this involved a group of four people meeting outdoors who were within five kilometers of home and stayed physically apart. Government guidelines allow people to spend time in the outdoors within five kilometers of their home while continuing to observe social distancing and good hygiene. There are no specific government guidelines on eating outdoors or picnics. Mr. Varadkar had broke no laws, breached no regulations and observed public health guidance, the spokesman insisted. He also referred to Mr. Varadkar's decision to relocate to a state-owned residence on Dublin's Farmley estate during the pandemic. He said, regarding Stewards Lodge, a four-bedroom house on the grounds of Farmley, security is provided by the Taisha's regular Garda security detail, IT and home office supports by the Department of the Taisha. There are no staff and no domestic services are provided. As has been the practice for many years, the Taisha pays a nightly fee for the use of the house. Even though Mr. Varadkar has broken no rules, his decision to have a picnic does seem to fly in the face of guidelines outlined by Liz Canavan, Department of the Taisha Assistant Secretary General last week. Discussing the first phase of the lifting of lockdown restrictions, Ms. Canavan said, if you're visiting a public amenity try not to stay too long at the site or have picnics. Please do your exercise and then go home. Mr. Varadkar's appearance in the park triggered a mixed reaction on Twitter.